Hope here and welcome to Radio Yorkshire. Today we'll be talking to none other than George Stobart. Hey George, thanks for joining us today. It's a pleasure. Thanks for inviting me on. Why did you actually go to Paris all those years ago? I was getting over a breakup. I thought Paris would be a good place to recover. Peaceful, foreign, exotic, and with so many beautiful women. So do you. If that explosion had never happened, what do you think you would be doing now? I'd probably be a lawyer, you know, making lots of money. Of course, doing work for the greater benefit of mankind. Beautiful wife, 2.3 beautiful children, a pet. Maybe a goat. Have you ever thought about changing your beautiful hairstyle? Actually, uh, I have already. Uh, a number of times. Five, in fact, I think. What is your definition of happiness? A puzzling, thrilling adventure with Nico at my side. Uh, and she's in a good mood, too, of course. And now we have some callers with questions for George. Okay, first on the line we have Chris Gissing. Chris, go ahead with your question. You're rushing into a burning building, and you can only save either a goat or Andre Lobino. Who do you pick? Uh, that's a tough one. The dumb animal or the stupid one? It's a toss-up, but I suppose the goat would be easier to carry. And next we have Rick Thompson. Rick? Hi, George. I'm a massive fan. Do you feel that Hollywood and the publishing industry are trivializing the kind of dangerous situations you've actually experienced whilst investigating your previous cases? Is it right that Hollywood actors stage fight with mock templates to solve their riddles while you were tussling with a genuine article? Wow, Rick, thank you. This is something that has come up often in the past and I've struggled with how to respond. Of course you're right, but in the end, who am I, indeed, who are we? to ruin the enjoyment and pleasure of so many. But I thank you again for your insight and your empathy. Our next call is Guglia Bassano. George, what do you think about French girls? I can only really speak about one, and I have to be very careful. Hot. Uh, next on the line we have Joey Rabbit. Joey, go ahead with the question. Hey, George. How did you know that that dog could swim? Or didn't it drown? The next caller is James Fairclough. Hello, James. Hi, George. I was wondering, what are your feelings on Charles Cecil? I mean, what was he like to work with? Joking aside, and there is so much I could say in that vein, aside from being the great creator, repeatedly, uh, and that takes some doing, let me tell you, He's pretty much the dream boss. Uh, he's a hugely creative person who not only collaborates, but genuinely enjoys collaborating. Smart, fun, and loads of laughs. I'm really sorry this one's drawing to a close. Next on the line, we have Sebastian Glentworth. Why do you say tomato and not tomato? It's an aesthetic choice. And as a follow-up question, why does this question only work in text? A philosophical question that has baffled mankind for centuries, Seb, and one that I couldn't even possibly attempt to respond to here. The next caller is Gadge Roberts. Hello, George. Do you look back at your style from the mid-90s, you know, the tight jeans and the green blazer, and just think, <laughs> what was I thinking? Sounds like you may have had similar feelings, eh, Gadge fashion? Our next caller is Jana Hick. Go ahead, Jana. Good day, George. Which products do you use for your hair? It always looks fantastic, even after hours of running through the desert or the Winthrop Irish countryside. I need to know your secret. It's called Yellow Ink. I have it prepared specially. Next we have Gabriel Hudson. Hi, George. In a completely theoretical circumstance, uh, what do you believe is the possibility that we'll one day end up living in cities run by all-powerful computers attached to biological hosts, which are multi-level metropolises? Completely theoretical? <laughs> soon, Gabriel, very soon, your trumpet shall sound. Well, that's it for today's show. Thanks, everyone who called in and everyone who's joined.
joining us. And of course, thank you to George. You're awesome. We all love you. It's been a pleasure.